Before we go, we're going to talk about an organization that I don't know what we do without. Waste Management is committed to environmental excellence. Now, every year nationwide, they recycle enough to save 41 million trees. I know they're always working to increase that number, especially down here in the Keys. Greg, thank you for being with me this morning. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Now, let's start, Greg, by talking about single stream residential recycling. Could you explain what that is? Sure, sure. I'm glad to. Um, what single stream is, is uh, makes it easier for the residents. What we learned across the country is the easier it is, the more participation we can get. And, of course, the more participation, the more volume. So uh, what we're working on with both the city and the county is to go to a 64-gallon cart, which is pretty good size. It's much bigger than the little bins. It has a lid on it. It has wheels on it. And uh, you can put everything in there, your newspaper, your detergent bottle, your soda bottles, uh, aluminum cans, tin cans. And then once um, we come pick it up, we pick it up all in one so the resident doesn't have to do any separating. Then we take it to our facility up in the mainland in Pembroke Pines. And uh, it's about a four acre facility, uh, lots of pretty fancy equipment, and of course some hand labor. Uh, and we sort the material out into different categories, um, bail it up and then ship it to markets uh, throughout the world, actually. Okay, so that's where all the material goes then, to right. those markets throughout right, the world. Right, right. Uh, actually, uh, China takes a lot of the paper uh, mm -hmm. stuff. Um, aluminum and tin pretty much stay in the United States. Um, plastics gets distributed throughout the United States. Some goes to Georgia. Uh, some actually as close as Orlando. There's a plant up there that makes some plastic pallets that uh, out of our recycled material. Okay. And now what can we do here as a community to reduce our waste? Right. Well, what I tell everybody, the most important thing is look at what you buy. You know, uh, w if you can buy something in, in a bigger uh, uh, jar or, or bottle or something like that so you don't have that much waste. Um, obviously, uh, aluminum and, and plastic is a little more environmentally friendly excuse me, than glass. Mm -hmm. um, you know, glass is heavier to ship. It's not as easily recycled. Um, you know, some of the products out there, they might be very convenient, but they might not be recyclable. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's important to look at what you buy uh, and, and try and reduce things like that. I even had a conversation recently with someone from the school board, and we're thinking about uh, putting some fountain sodas in at the games instead of cans and bottles. Really? And, and that way there, you know, with a fountain, you don't have any of the, the waste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have you been with waste management, Greg? I've been with waste management um, here since 1999. I was here with the uh, previous company before that. Um, and uh, as you mentioned in the opening statement, we, you know, our company, uh, we are the largest in the United States, mm -hmm. and they are very, very committed to looking at all types of opportunities. We, we do all kinds of different things throughout the country. Uh, we're putting in a lot of um, uh, natural gas fueling stations for our trucks in, in larger places. Unfortunately, we don't have natural gas down here, mm -hmm. but um, you know that's a big expense. And then we're partnering with different cities. We're doing that in Broward County. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you that our waste that we do collect in the Keys goes to our waste energy plant again in Broward. And uh, while it doesn't affect us directly, it does make enough electricity for over a hundred thousand homes. Mm -hmm. So, so there is a, a bit of a, an impact. Maybe not directly to us, but, but indirectly. Okay. And now, since you've been with waste management for a while, what would you say is probably the biggest misconception that people have about waste management? Well, um, you know, I hear a lot of times people say, oh, they don't really recycle it. And, and that, that kind of uh, is, is not a true statement. Um, you know, if you put it in your recycle bin or your recycle toter, I can tell you it certainly does go to our plant. Um, you can visit our website. Um, you can kind of navigate through that to Reuters Recycling and see how the plant works. Uh, I do take some people up for tours every now and then. Um, and my email is out there. So if mm -hmm. someone really has an interest, let me know and I can give them more detailed information. Okay, wonderful. And the website is on the bottom of the screen along with his email address that you can see right there. Thank you for sharing all of this information this morning with our viewers. My pleasure. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, that's going to do it for me today. I thank you for tuning in this morning, and I invite you to join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day, everybody.